All right, hello again, everybody. We are back. This is your friend Will. We're jumping back into competitive constructed here on the memory lapse, playing the Is It Art Light Phoenix deck, living out our GP dreams. Going into round four here, so I think we've peeled off six games in a row um, to hit this three and zero. Oh. So definitely profiting. I guess everyone's watching the GP right now because this matchmaking is taking a while. But I think this is, this is the uh, least popular mode for sure, so not not too concerned, I guess, at the amount of weight that goes on when we're queuing into these rounds. They actually, during the beta, for anyone who's like not playing during the closed beta, at one point just said they were going to take this out completely because they found that only like 2% of the players were playing it. And also they had some reason like that they couldn't figure out how to work the UI to support all these different events, but as you can see now, they've clearly backtracked on that. Uh, hmm. We do have chart to dig, so I guess we'll keep this. And we'll lead off here. Let's play Sulfur Falls Tapped. All right, so our opponent has Memorial to Folly. Let's just play this chart. Beacon Bolt Lava Coil. Discard Mountain. Not bad draws. Merfolk Branch Walker. Hitting a land. But the question is, are we worried about this right now? We don't have much else to do this turn, so we could just Beacon Bolt it and save the other half for later. I kind of like that. It feels like an efficient use of our mana. And I'd rather save the Lava Coil for something that we want to actually get rid of permanently. Alright, so we see Vraska on top, which they're keeping, so that makes me think they have a lot of lands in hand. And, uh... Hmm. I guess we're just going to hit him with the Phoenix here. Start trading him damage. Hitting with the Phoenix here also puts us in a situation where, you know, if they answer it, We have two spells, so we're not too far away from getting it back. Alright, yep, of course they're going to get in here for four. Drew another land. I guess we're just playing Crackling Drake here and seeing what we draw. Goblin Electromancer is not terrible. And the question is, are we trading here? this 4-3. I think we're not. Obviously, if they have Chupacabra here, they get to get in for 6 damage, which is a lot. Ooh, Assassin's Trophy. Okay. That works out a bit better for us. Not that much better, but a bit better. Oh, they've got main deck Bloodfast. So this is actually a player we've played against a fair amount. I think Diomedes. So we can go one, two, yeah. So we can we can go digging here. And if we hit another Phoenix, we can bring it back. Hmm. Chart a course. Guess we're gonna chart pre-combat. Wow. Beacon bolt. I 
Well, we've gone through a ton of land. So hopefully we have a lot of action moving forward. They're going to play this Vraska here. And they're making a pirate. Do we just ignore it and go for lethal over two turns? I think so. I want to keep this island in hand for now. One, it's a bluff, and two, we can use it to discard a jump start. Hmm. So they're probably going to plus here. Ooh, and second Frasca. That's annoying. Is this one going to eat the Electromancer? Yeah. All right, well, that's a bad draw. How can we do this? And not lose next turn. Something like this. Ugh, and they have Rasta's Contempt, come on. Alright, so we lose. Talk about having it all. Uh, well, we can get one more turn. Sort of. Electromancer, Lava Coil. Oh, we don't even get one more turn. That's right. All right, they got it. All right, so they're just on straight up black green with all the planeswalkers. So in this matchup, we want the disdainful strokes. We want the lava coil. We want the phoenixes. Bring out the shocks. Bring out the beacon bolts. And just do it like that. Maybe we want that chemistry in sight. Yeah. It's just quite a grindy matchup. And we needed that draw. Hmm. That one did feel close. I think we could beat one Vraska, but not two. Maybe we just kept a bad one. Alright, I like this hand. We have these radical ideas that we can cycle to try to get to our fourth land drop. Rekindling Phoenix rates a lot better against uh, Ravenous Chupacabra than Cackling Drake does. Crackling Drake. <coughs> Excuse me. Go for it. I'm guessing they'll take Disdainful Stroke. Yep. 
End of turn. Electromancer's not a bad one. But it's bad when we miss land. Oh, that's so brutal. <laughs> we had four draws. No, three draws to a land we missed. Okay. Hmm. Guess we're going discovery. This could be how we lose this one. Yep. I have to put all that into the graveyard. Though putting the obviously putting the arc light in the graveyard's fine. Putting the uh, Drake down there is not amazing. We only had to go through four, five, six cards to find another land. Okay. So I'm a little worried about Frasis Contempt here, based on just the speed that they've been playing. So if that's the case, I think I just want to play Crackling Drake and draw here. And protect the Rekindling Phoenix. Vivian Reed. Well, I think we can try to go for a play here with the Electromancer. Chart of course. We find land. Discard a lava coil. Sulfur Falls opt. Kimrich's insight will keep. And then radical idea away. This second electromancer. I want to keep one lava coil. Alright. Arc Light Phoenix comes back. Get to knock out Vivian Reed. And we're kind of in business now with these chemistry's insights. And we still haven't committed our Rekindling Phoenix to the board. Plus. Okay, this is about as good as it gets, I think. A little awkward, but we get to take the Vraska off the board. And not lose to that card. We have two chemistry's insights to reload here. And these Arc Light Phoenixes are they need to have a lot of Rastus Contempts, and that's four mana. That's a, it's really expensive, so they're not gonna be committing to the board if they're answering these Phoenixes. What are they doing? Fine brokering back Vivian Reed? No, for big Vraska. Death Gorge Scavenger. Nothing in the graveyard that's super important at this time. Oh, yeah, that. Okay. So I think we're most scared of losing more stuff to the Scavenger. So let's just take him out. Bash for six. This is a lot of flyers that they have to figure out the answer to. And spending six mana to like mine as a phoenix is not going to be very good here. We have a second one coming up. Wow. So they're just trying to put more pressure on the board. So maybe they have Chupacabra in hand. Double, double push to the graveyard there. One Vraska Contempt. Alright, goodbye. Rekindling Phoenix. You'll be back. So we're definitely overloading there. 
removal here. This Rask is not very good at this point. Uh, so they're trying to trick me into blocking so that they can minus the Rekindling Phoenix token. When they're just dead next turn. So, not interested in doing that. Alright, so they've Raska. I assume they're going to minus a Phoenix here. With no way to remove it from the graveyard, it looks like. So just any reasonable draw. I'm just going to bring that Phoenix back and we'll get them for 10 in the air. Alright, radical idea. I mean, we actually don't even need a reasonable draw here because we have chemistry's in sight. Radical idea away this mountain. Go to attack step. We even have disdainful stroke up. Come for 10. All right, let's go to game three. I wonder if we're supposed to think about bringing in the negates or not. I kind of forgot how we sided it before. Nope. We can even bring... Oh, this is fine. Alright, we're going to be on the draw this time. Alright, this is a nice one. If the Electromancer can survive, we'll have a really good turn three. We could potentially get multiple phoenixes into play if we are super lucky on our turn three here. There's one. Are we gonna have the, the godly combo draw? Whew. Okay, I was fearing a little bit the Plague Carrier, Plague Craft, or whatever it's called. All right. So let's start with Discovery. Hmm, which of these, if any, do we want? Probably want both. Right. Which is a little awkward because I know we're digging for phoenixes here. Alright, so we drop phoenix. Chart of course again. Whew. Bingo. In for six. So now we have, we're just going to hold this up for Vrasa's Contempt. I'm assuming they're going to play Scavenger here. No, they're just using it now. Damn. A little bit of bad luck, but that's okay. Considering how lucky we've gotten with this draw already. Don't want that. Yeah, I guess we're just going to... Lava Coil, this Jade Light. Play Steam Vents. Get in with the Phoenix. And hold up the Disdainful Stroke. Alright. 
We have enough to bring it back with the radical ideas. Oh, but then this gets it. Damn. Ooh, they might have us here. We're in a bad spot now. We have to dig. I think we want both of these. Let's lava coil this one. We want to cast our chemistries inside, I think. Get it for two. They're down to two cards. We have Disdainful Stroke if they try to hit us with a big Planeswalker here. Dead weight, come on. Ooh, here comes the police, I'll mute. Alright, they've more or less passed. Well, we bricked hard, and our opponent hit really well. So I guess we're just cycling until we hit something good. Jeez. You know, the creature in the play. I have to start blocking with these, unfortunately. Hope they hit land here. Vivian Reed. So we're going to disdainful, excuse me, stroke that. Sometimes the opponent just is going to have all the right answers. This is one of those games. Alright, so we have to take four here, counter their planeswalker. Oh, they pushed it. What? Huh. Alright. That eats the Electromancer, that's no good. Chemistry's inside away, this island. We did find a couple. Crackling Drake's a really good one. No way to protect it right now, though. But it is very lethal. Ooh, into Rekindling Phoenix. Now are we the lucky ones? What could they have here? Chupacabra for the cat. Crackling Drake is very good. We're in a position where we do have to do some blocking. Scavenger does not do it. They can gain two life. Okay. That puts them up to 13. So Crackling Drake is still lethal. We don't have Negate in, unfortunately. Oh! <coughs> Ichi, relax. Oh, looks like we just got it. Wow. We filtered and filtered and filtered and got there. All right, 4-0. Pretty easy. Not easy. That both those, all three of those games are pretty tough. 
Game two, we kind of blew them out, but games one and three were quite. <coughs> what about it, Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit. Ichi, Ichi, relax. <coughs> all right, well, the dog is barking, so we'll call it for this one. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you are enjoying this run. This deck is somewhat different from the type that we've been playing, but we're having success with it. And uh, we'll be back again soon. If you're enjoying the content, please hit the like button, subscribe, post a comment. What did I do right? What did I do wrong? What do you like? Are you enjoying the new mic? Um, anyways, that's it for this one. We'll be back soon with round five. Later, all.